Hallelujah. Hallelujah, precious Jesus. You are precious, Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Amen. He is a precious Jesus. And I pray, oh God, as I open my mouth this morning, you will fill it. Fill me to overflowing, Holy Spirit, as I reach out to you. Oh God, you know my heart. <laughs> you know my heart. You know the hearts of your listeners this morning. You know you know if they are right with you, oh God. So I just pray as I open my mouth and you fill, fill it with your words this morning, Father, that you would lead me by your spirit, touch hearts, you know who needs to be here and who is listening right now. What condition is your heart? Hmm. Hmm. If you are right standing with the Lord, if you are righteous, he'll give you anything, anything you want, anything your heart desires. He will give it to you. When you're right with him, when you're righteous, you naturally pray according to his will in your life. It's perfect. His perfect will. It's all you need. And all he needs from you is your, hmm, you, your heart, Let's call it a canvas. Are you right with him? How do you know? How will you know if you are right with God? Good morning, Shar. It's good to have you here this morning. Bless you, sis. <laughs> when you're right with him, when you're righteous, his goodness his mercy follows you everywhere. Everywhere. Everywhere you go. You find favor with everyone. That's amazing. Oh, he is good when you're fully consecrated to Jesus Christ. No weapon formed against you will prosper. In Jesus' mighty name. <laughs> the shepherd is good. He is a good, good father. He is so good. There is none like him. Lord, there is none like you. So as we lift up a, a hallelujah to you this morning, Lord, that's all I have. That's all I have for you, my king. All I have is a hallelujah in my heart. And it is so right with you. It's so right. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for grieving our heart for what grieves yours when we are righteous, when we are right standing with you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your presence. Precious, precious Jesus. Let's pray. Amen. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we lift you up high this morning. Edify you. Praise your name, sweet Jesus. We, we praise the name of Jesus. You are the one, the one the true way to the Father. The only way to the Father is through you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We commit this time to you this morning. Lord, we lift up, we lift up the families and the friends, Lord, of the military men from around the world, including the United States, who lost their lives at Kabul, Father. We lift them up to you, Jesus. We pray that many hearts would be turned to you, Lord, through this devastation, because you turn everything around for good. 
<laughs> what is meant for evil, you just turn it around. You do that. You do that. But Lord, we grieve with those who grieve this morning. We do. We do, Lord. We grieve with them. We feel the sadness. We feel the sadness in the spirit realm. And we're so sorry for the great loss. There's no bringing them back and there's no replacing them. Those human lives lost and our heart goes out to the families this morning. Thank you, Lord, for placing a new song on my heart. Thank you, Lord, for connecting me back to Lonnie and Lonnie again, and we're writing, we're writing the song at Kabul, hallelujah, at Kabul, Lord, that these lives will never be forgotten. So Holy Spirit, place around us that blood of the Lamb shield of protection to guard our heart, soul, body, our mind, and our spirit, hallelujah, and let nothing but your love penetrate that blood of the Lamb shield of protection in the name of Jesus Christ. Place on us the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt buckle of truth. Shod our feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace of Jesus Christ. Place on our hand the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, sharper than any double-edged sword. Place in our other hand the shield of faith to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. Lead us not into temptation, no, but deliver us from evil. Hallelujah. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, we feel your goodness here. Your goodness, your glory is with us this morning. We praise you. Hallelujah. And Lord, that's all we have to give you this morning <laughs> is our hallelujah. So hallelujah, Lord. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Precious Jesus. Wow. <laughs> He's really touching me this morning. <laughs> I love it. I love it. When Holy Spirit comes on me, I feel him. I feel him on my, on my face. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's like his signature touch with me. <laughs> Praise him. Praise the Lord. You know, righteousness in the word righteous appears 540 times in 520 verses in the Bible. A layman's definition of righteousness is simply right standing with God. Righteousness is the condition of being in right relationship with the Lord. This can only happen through total faith and dependence on Christ. And there's one thing that I want to tell you today. If you do anything, if there is anything you do, prepare your heart for the living God. Prepare it. His goodness and his mercy will follow you everywhere you go. You won't want anything. You won't need anything. He will meet all of your needs. His grace will be sufficient for you. But before I tell you that one thing, that one phrase, I want you to, I want to stay with you to, for the rest of the day, <laughs> hopefully for the rest of the weekend. Um, I'm going to bring you an update and the Lord is doing some mighty things through my worldwide ministry. I praise him. Jesus is magnificent. What a magnificent king. <laughs> I feel so lit up this morning. Hallelujah. Yes, he's, he's creating this international ministry for him to glorify himself uh, through me. And I praise him and I uh, give it to him every day. I place it on the altar and I say, this is yours. This is your ministry. This is your 
yours. My heart is yours. And if only, if all I have is, is an alleluia and, and my heart to give to you, Father, I give it to you every day. But yes, he's, he's preparing, um, he's preparing his people and there's a new project in the works and I'm so excited about it. So excited. Oh. A sister in Christ from India contacted me and we met and it was glorious. And uh, yeah, we're forming this international group and I'll have more to tell you uh, next week, but um, my messages are going to be less and less. <laughs> my message is probably going to be once a week from now on and perhaps Monday mornings. I, I don't know. I haven't I haven't uh, prayed it through <laughs> and worked it all out with the Lord, but it's possible perhaps Monday mornings I'll do that. But there'll be another, another amazing international group presented to you through Moral Support. And so I want you to uh, just be praying for us, for this international group. Women, powerful, powerful women from around the globe. We're talking India, uh, Pakistan, Lithuania, Sweden, uh, the Philippines, Israel, possibly, from all around the world, women who are going to unite and model for you uh, effective, fervent, righteous prayers. Alleluia. So that is in the works, and the message here will be less and less and probably just once a week, but I wanted to give you a heads up now. <laughs> and I have one thing, one thing that's really on my heart, and the Lord showed it to me yesterday, and I can't get in, I can't get it off my mind. And I'm going to give you this phrase, and then go ahead and Google it. <laughs> it's in Matthew. I, um, I don't remember where it is. Two, two nine or something. It, it, that might not be the right address, but it's in Matthew. But I want you to know, and, and I'm addressing the righteous. If you are right standing with God, you know, your heart is right and you're consecrated to him. You've surrendered every area of your life to him. This message is for you. And this message is also for the ones that haven't fully surrendered everything to the Lord. Because it's a message for you. It is. So here goes. It's short and sweet and straight to the point. And dear righteous, you will have what your faith expects. Let me say that one more time. Dear righteous, you will have what your faith expects. Stand in faith and love. Hallelujah. Oh, <laughs> it's time. Praise Jesus and bless your weekend. I will see you again soon for another live daily devotional.